Hello everyone, I'm Dave from Dino PC, and today we are building our test bench. So for those of you who don't know what a test bench is, a test bench is something where you can put in various components um, and test them to find out what they do and how well they perform. The importance here is to have always make sure that you have got exactly the same sort of components. If you're just changing like the graphics card, or for instance, if you're changing the processor, make sure that everything else is the same in the computer, just to make everything fair so that we can build up a spreadsheet of different test results. So before we start, you better know what components are gonna be going on our test bench. We've got a Corsair Carbide 540 over here, a modular Corsair 750 watt power supply, an Intel i7-6700K, Corsair H75, water cooler, a Samsung Evo 250 gig SSD, an Asus Z170e with SLI capabilities, that's very important, an Asus Turbo 970, and finally 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RAM. Now, I'm not the greatest at building PCs here. In fact, I haven't actually built a PC in five years, but luckily I'm surrounded by very professional builders who've been doing it every day their entire life. So we will be getting some people in to help me out when we get to things like cable management, overclocking, and other things as well. For me, this is gonna be mostly like a big learning curve. So you guys can learn along with me, which is great. I know the basics, but for the more complicated stuff, we're definitely gonna need some help. So the first thing I'm gonna do is definitely get out all the components in front of me so I've got a nice, space to build in so that means I don't have to have any sort of messy boxes all over the place. Should have probably bought a knife with me. That would have probably help but fingers will do. Normally you should probably have like a magnetic thing to put all of this sort of stuff in um, but I don't have that so we're just going to be putting it off to the side where you can't see it. More power supply cables. Power supply itself there. Now, this is only a semi-modular power supply it's not fully modular so but that's not really much of an issue. We, the reason why we chose a 750 watt is that if we ever do SLI in this system, then we've got enough power to kind of make sure that it's, well, got enough power. Here we go. I've never actually unboxed a water cooler before. So this will be quite interesting to see exactly what we're gonna be doing. So yeah, the reason why we went with a H75i is because we wanted to kind of build a test system that isn't super high-end out there. Um, that way, you guys can know what you're gonna get closer to the performance when we do things like graphics cards in terms of a rig that you've got at home. Not everyone's gonna have a 590X, for example, with like 12 processing cores. And in actual fact, a quad-core system is actually normally better for gaming anyway, and it's gonna be more closer to what you guys have at home. So yeah, we went with an SSD as well. Most computers should have a boot drive as an SSD these days. Um, there's no excuse not to. And we're picking the, uh, we're picking the uh, Samson one because that's a pretty damn popular one. And they're very reliable and they, they look kind of cool as well. They're just very simple, basic kind of looking as you can sort of see there. Looks very nice and mm, that new SSD smell. We've also got an anti-static mat here. Make sure that you either ground yourself on the power supply constantly or that you've got an anti-static uh, anti mat or an anti-static band. You can wear them um, on your leg, on your wrist, wherever you want to. Um, but for this, we'll be using an anti-static mat. We'll open this first, which is my favorite bit of opening the, uh, of do ever doing a PC unboxing or any kind of PC stuff is always gonna be the funnest thing to do is gonna be uh, uh, graphics card, especially as I really like this one. I really wish they did a, seven, uh, a, a 980 Ti version uh, with that with this paint scheme because it looks so good. Oh, look at it. It looks so good. Oh, there it is. There it is. It looks so nice. I want it. I want it. It's lovely. It's beautiful. And the last bit, which is the motherboard, which is the first bit that we're going to be doing. So we've got an SLI bridge there by Asus. Thank you for that. We don't need that yet, but we may need it in the future. SATA cables, we will need this. And finally, we've got ourselves our motherboard. This is the Asus Z170. And uh, if we can get it out of the, uh, there we go. Looks pretty nice actually, I have to say. Right, let's get started with the build. Okay, so uh, basically we're gonna start off with the processor. Obviously, need this for processing. I, you know, probably the central part of the computer. 
What you'll find is that when you open the processor, there'll be like a little arrow, as you can see like there. And that means that, hang on, if we get the, uh, there we go, open up the CPU shroud, there should be a little arrow there that shows where it's supposed to go. So it is supposed to go that way around, if I can actually get it in. There we go, ta-da. And then you put it down as such, and there should be, there we go, that should pop off. And then you can put that underneath there. Boom, that is your processor now installed. Uh, the next bit that we're going to want to do is uh, throw that away because you don't need that. So the next bit we need to do is put the uh, water cooling shroudy thing underneath it. I don't know the technical names for all these things. I should probably know the technical names for all these things, but I don't. And you put it through like so. This is awkward if you like haven't done it before. I've never used a, a water cooler. I've never installed a water cooler. I'm so used to installing... Uh, regular air coolers. I don't know. Someone will come and tell me if I've done it wrong. Sai, you'll come and tell me if I've done it wrong. Yes. Yes. Now. 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 Introducing, ladies and gentlemen, Sai, who will be doing stuff on this channel as soon as he's stopped being busy. <laughs> things, yeah. What do you need to know? That's the right way around, right? That is the right way around. That's perfect. Look at that. See, I even remembered that that's the right way around. And then, beautiful, you see? See? See how this is going? Look at look at Sai coming to help. It's amazing. Right there. It's do you want to do two? It's looking good. I'll do one. You'll do one. There we go. It should be relatively universal in terms of which way around they go. Look at that. Things are beauty right here. You don't get this kind of level of amateurism on any other tech channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you have two choices. You can wait until the motherboard is in the case before putting the cooler on. Or and then it's a little bit easier because then you don't have to kind of lift the whole thing and put it together. In. Or you can put this on now. My advice would be wait until you get it into the case. Yeah. Because this, the back plate, is now going to hold in place. You can put your thermal paste on, all that business is fine. Um, and then this, you can actually dictate the orientation and you won't be stressing the tubes, essentially, depending on which way. He knows, you see? He knows. <laughs> that would be my advice. That would be his advice. I'm going to take his advice. I think that's a very good idea. So, uh, RAM next, I guess. Beautiful. Yeah, you've got RAM. I've got RAM. Um, I'm going to RAM it in the RAM. Good to go. Now, there is uh, a, a slight rule with RAM, I think. Carlos can tell me if there's a slight rule with RAM, which is, uh, we, what I've decided is I'm going to put the cooler in once the it is in the motherboard. You yeah, you can do it that way. You yeah, that. and um, RAM would be these two slots here, yeah? The yeah, one that's closest, and then the one that's... You do the first one, then you do A1, and then you have the A3. B1. A1 and B1. A1, B1, then A2, B2. Yeah, so it'll be those two there. Yes. Perfect, you see? We're learning, we're learning on the go. That's what we're here, that's what we're here to do. So to, uh, to put the RAM in, you'll see these little, uh, you'll see these little things, you're gonna pull those back. Uh, some will make a snapping noise, some won't, some will be loose, some will be not loose. Then we've got to slot it in. I believe you're supposed to slot it in, although I can't remember exactly. Make sure the uh, bottom notch, by the way, is lined up with the notch that's clearly in the board. Otherwise, you're gonna break your motherboard and you don't want to be doing that. The RAM is in. The RAM is in. That's how it's done. At least I think it's in. Someone will tell me if I've done wrong. I know they will. It's, it's, it's not that hard, really. I'm just making it look harder than it is. It's a professional way. That's how you're supposed to do it making it look exactly harder than it is. Fantastic, right. Next stage, putting the motherboard in the case. Okay, so the next step is the case. Now, um, I unfortunately know nothing of this case. I've never built inside it. I've never even seen properly inside of the case before. And you guys might be asking, why, why Dave, why? Marco, come and help. Come on Marco, you get over here. Yeah, Marco, come on, come on. Oh, shy. You, oh you're not shy, Marco. Are recording? I am recording. We are about to put the motherboard in the case. Oh my god. I know, right? That's the wrong side. That's the wrong side. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be, I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna do this. Are we recording? We are recording. So yeah, well, would I'm you- look, I'm look my best today. Would you, <laughs> would you advise putting the power supply in first so we could feed cables in and then the motherboard? Or would you advise putting the motherboard in straight? Yeah, it depends really. It depends. Well, 
What would you say in this situation? I'd say maybe, well, this case is particular, but it doesn't really matter with this case because the power supply goes on, on the, the, other the other side. side anyway. Yeah, so. so just put the motherboard in straight away? Yeah. Yeah, throw it Don't in there. Don't forget the back play. Don't forget the back play, of, of yeah. course, of course. Don't forget to like us. Yeah. Um, don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so, uh, like I said, we've got the Corsair Carbide 540. It's a really good case. Um, I've never built in it before, but um, the reason why I picked it is because it's big and it puts the power supply on the other side. That means if we need to change components really quickly or whatever, we can easily just lift stuff out of it and lift stuff back in again. And as well as that, I believe you can also put it on its side. So um, I think there are razors on it. That means you can like attach it and put it on its side if it needs to be put on its side. But that's not what we're interested in. We're interested in the, the size of it. It's a nice big size. You can get our hands in there get it all day and well not day because it's clean but yeah this case also comes with some really nice things like it comes with rounded edges rubber grommets which is going to make things look a lot nicer not that we care because it's tash bent but we kind of care because we do take pride in our work here even though i'm doing it i've got to learn somewhere right okay so we now need to put this in the case itself now you're gonna have to work out which way it goes around so you have to look at the io the io is there that's fine okay so here we've got uh I.O. shield. I'm going to put this in the, the place where the I.O. goes, I guess. That would be probably the most sensible thing. So you've got to work out which way it goes round. It goes that way. I need to lower the board in. Oh, we should probably get that wire out of the way. Motherboard in. Which way? Which orientation? It's gonna be. It's gonna be uh, this way, surely. The IO shield. Yeah, it's in. It's gonna be that way, surely. Yeah. Does that pin sound good? Uh, it should be. There you go. Is that Perfect. in? Perfect. Yeah, yeah. And it's that just... will just hold it in place while you screw in the. While I screw in the things, and it should have. Yeah, it's gone. There's a little ball point here, which is supposed to like put into, which I completely ignored. Um, Perfect. And that's supposed to, you lower it in, and then it's put. Don't, don't, we'll, we'll do like a building guide that's perfection with our master builder, um, not with me. <laughs> like, this is, this is supposed to be more comedy value than anything else. Janky PC. Janky, <laughs> janky PC. <laughs> that's just the site. That is my site. That is my site. That's the PCs that I build. But uh, yeah, so uh, now I guess it's uh, cooler time. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can screw in the. Oh, yeah, I'd probably screw in the, the, motherboard. the motherboard. I will. This is our testing rig that we're going to use oh, to test everything, yeah. Beautiful. And what are you going to test? Uh, whatever. Ah. <laughs> we haven't got anything to test yet. Uh, so this is Nick. He's uh, he's the marketing manager, I guess. Ah, don't yeah. give away my information. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, I just guys. Yeah, it's cool. Right. So uh, we've got the motherboard in. We've got the. Uh, we've got. We're gonna about to put the cooler in. Any tips for putting the cooler on? Yeah, it's the last thing I would install in a computer. Yeah. yeah I would do a bit of cabling, cable management before, and then uh, at the very end go for the... Go for the cooler. Yeah, because it's massive to install, you know? You want to have everything in place. At least that's what I was doing when I was with the computer, so... I, I trust you, I trust your judgment. Okay. So, uh, what do you think? Power next? Power supply next? Yeah, I would go for the cables here, for the motherboard, so you can, you can then make a neat cable management, then bring the cable here to the cooler, because you see, if we're gonna install this one here now, for example, with the fan, it may cover... It's going there. Yeah. I think that one okay. there. Okay, it may so. cover uh, bits that you need to be accessible to the wiring, so... Yeah. That's the main reason. Cool. And then, yeah, the cables here, and... Sweet. Away you go. Away I go, fantastic. Yeah. Sweet. Well, that's Nick, guys. Hi. Leave a like for Nick. <laughs> <laughs> We're going, we're going through everybody at Dino PC here today. Right, okay, cool, fantastic. Right, let's, get, let's keep going, let's keep going. Okay, so we've got the motherboard attached. We've got the new fan installed, fantastic. I'm spinning that, you can't actually see me spinning that, but I'll spin this one for you instead, there you go. See me spin, watch me spin. Right, next thing to do is the power supply. Uh, and that, for this one, is on the other side. So I'm gonna do it so you can like, see it, hopefully. Uh, or you should be able to see it on this one over here. There we go, you see? Not a problem at all. Very easy, in fact. I mean, it doesn't fit perfectly, but if it fit perfectly, I, I mean, it wouldn't be a challenge, would it? That's what you want in a PC build. A challenge that makes it feel exceptionally difficult when it shouldn't be. Nice job there, Dave. Oh going in. 
So Corsair make the power supply and of course they make the case. And you would hope. I mean, there doesn't need to be a fourth screw in there, does there? Nah. It's fine. It's beautiful. Now the graphics card is quite easy to slot in. I can do the graphics card. I've done the graphics card before, so that's not going to be much of a problem to, uh, to slot in. I think, however, I have actually... Maybe I haven't... Oh, no, wait, no. Ah! We only need... one of these SSD bays up here. So you can actually get the rest of them out, which is good. Two SSD bays out. And we're gonna leave the two in there because we might need the two in the future for something. I'm gonna leave two of them in there anyway, because yeah. Right, next section. Putting in the graphics card. This is our 970 Turbo. And we've actually picked this card specifically, well, I picked this card specifically for the build uh, because it has got a blower design, uh, which means that whatever readings in terms of heat or whatever, um, it means that it's not gonna affect the rest of the case because it's gonna pull in hot air from the case and blow it out the back. So if we're ever testing other CPUs uh, like AMD or higher end Intel ones that we have to swap out everything for in here, that means that we're gonna have a, a blower design that's gonna suck in there, push air out the back, and we don't have to worry about air blowing around inside the case. This case is all about proper airflow.